Hold up. This isn't some cheesy kid show. This is Kids in the Tank, a young perspective on business from high school students. Welcome to Kids in the Tank. I'm Elissa, and with me in the tank are Samantha and Jenna. Today we are honored to have Dwight Larkin as our special guest. Dwight is currently the financial advisor at Northwestern Mutual. Dwight, you are officially in the hot seat. Awesome. Thank you very much. So, Happy Dwight, the first question we have to ask you today is, do you do your own financial advising, and do you bank with Northwestern Mutual personally? Great questions. Uh, my wife, Renee, and I have an advisor that we work with. He's in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, because the advice isn't just about the math. Uh, it's about someone who can hold you accountable, and human nature doesn't allow people to do that for themselves. So we have somebody who we work with. Okay. And don't bank with Northwestern Mutual. We bank with U.S. Bank. Uh, <laughs> Northwestern Mutual is a, lim- <laughs> it's a limited-purpose bank uh, within our wealth management, which is where the money is uh, is held, but it's not a true bank. Okay. Otherwise, I would. Okay. What does your, <clears throat> excuse me, your CL, <coughs> CLTC, certification do for your practice? It's uh, it's just letters. It it means that I I know a lot about long term care insurance, which is usually toward later in life. Um, but it's, it's just letters. Um, it, if you have the conviction around what you're doing and helping people, it doesn't really matter what the letters are. So um, with all of your years, like all your experience in your job and what you've been doing, what's the best <laughs> advice you would have for our generation financially, like when they're trying to do a financial plan or trying to budget the best way they can? Great questions. Uh, number one, first and foremost, stay out of debt as much as you can. Uh, there's good debt and bad debt. Good debt's student loans. As you get older, mortgages and car loans. Uh, bad debt is, guess, Bueller, Bueller. Credit cards. Cre- yes, yes, credit cards. Be, be super crazy cautious to not get into credit card debt. Uh, debt is... Uh, what can uh, hamper families, but also it's the number one reason businesses go out of business, right? They get into debt, they're upside down. You, you hear about it every day. So that would be my best advice. And start start saving in a forced way where you have to save money if you can. But first and foremost, stay out of debt. <clears throat> All right. So what actions do you take for whatever reason um, when one of, like, the clients that you have does not and meet you, meets <clears throat> with you, um, what do you do when they don't like follow through with the plan that you have made? Great question. Most people follow through in one way, shape, or form, and it's it's never about being perfect, but it's about incrementally being better. So if I can talk with them about doing one thing better than what they were doing before we met, that's a win. Okay, and then how often does that happen? That that people don't do yeah, everything yeah. most of the time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so in your perspective um, with nowadays, is do you feel like it's still worth going to college? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It's, it's about what you learn, but it's also about the connections with people that you make. So uh, going to this school versus that school, it's not just about what you learn or don't learn in class, but it's about where are the people most likely going from here. Uh, that that's a part of that equation that I don't I don't think everybody thinks about. That you know when we're when we're old like me, what are what are people going to be doing, um, and 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 keeping that network vibrant. All right. So what about Northwestern Mutual has kept you there for over fifteen years? It's it's a great company. Um, we do the right thing for clients all day every day. Um, I don't have any hesitancies about what I recommend that people do. And most times it's exactly what I'm doing myself and my wife Renee is doing and everybody in the family. So it's easy. I'm excited about this question. So, um, how would, how was your experience with a fraternity and did it better you as a person? Um, no, I don't think so. I, I look back on it 
um, you know, if I could do it over again, that's one thing I, I might not do. Um, I, spent, I ended up spending a lot of time uh, with that piece of school. Mm -hmm. So it, it was fine. So you don't recommend Greek life? I don't. <laughs> that's I don't. first. All right. Um, so just a quick question. So you, like, you worked in the wait, uh, world trade floor. How did you uh, become, like, a financial advisor from that? Well, I, I spent a lot of time at Northwestern up here in Milwaukee uh, on the investment side. Um, and then it just, it, it was a natural progression. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the same things that I've been talking about really for 25 years. So it's, and, and it's great. It's very fulfilling to sit across from people and share knowledge and wisdom and re recommend things that they do to put them in a better situation and then they do it. And to have that, um, that feeling of satisfaction that they're in a better spot than they were before I walked into their lives. All right. Um, thank you for answering our questions. We will now be moving into our next segment, Flip It where you will be asking us the questions. Awesome. Uh, so start with Samantha and go around if that's All cool. Right. Um, so here at, um, at Kids in the Tank and, and all of all the programs that have been going on, what, what was your favorite or what's the one thing that you took out of um, the whole season? I think for me, um, moving forward, I'm not quite sure about what I want to do. And a lot of the pressures that kind of school's putting on us right now is you kind of have to have an idea of the path you're going in. And everybody's kind of reinforced that idea of everything is so changing and you don't have to know what you're going to do for the rest of the life. And I think that's been a, a pretty common theme with a lot of our speakers. I know you touched on it a little bit. Um, it's, have, it's come up quite a bit, and I think that's really good to note. Awesome. Uh, can you restate the question? <laughs> what's, sure. What's, what's been the most impactful thing that you've taken away from the season? Well, um, honestly, just the fact of getting a lot of different perspectives on different things and career choices and what everyone has to say about them. Awesome. I think I'd have to agree with Samantha a little bit. I just, because I used to always think that you had to be set on your career before, like while you're still in high school, going into college. And I realized that with all the speakers, <laughs> there's a lot of people, like majority change what they want to major in and change what they decide to do with the rest, for the rest of their life. So I think that's been a big eye-opener for me. So. Yeah, I would say uh, to follow up on that, uh, as the father of a high school senior, there's so much pressure mm -hmm. uh, on him and on everyone else in the school. Uh, I think the last thing you need is to figure everything in your whole life out at the same time that you're in the middle of finals or whatever. It's, it, yeah, it's... I would just have an open mind when it comes to that and, and just kind of roll with it. Um, the nice thing about after senior year is that things become more on your schedule than they ever were before. So you have that to look forward to. And the nice thing with Biz Tank is there's so many different speakers from so many different careers. I thought coming into this, because it's my first season, I thought coming in would just be all like entrepreneurs and people who are specifically in business. But we've met people from like so many different type of careers, which has given us a different viewpoint for each one. That's, so that's awesome. Pretty cool. Really cool. I, <clears throat> I agree. So, Samantha, what, uh, what do you have coming up that uh, you're most excited about or most uh, have the most trepidation about? Um, I have to say um, I'm a student athlete, so softball season's coming up again and just kind of starting up as a senior, um, hoping to be a captain this year and, like, being able to lead kids by example and help all those kids get through the program for their first or second year and just kind of turn over a new leaf. We've had a lot of negative attitudes in the past, and I think mm -hmm. that that's something that just you need to start over and change completely. So Yeah, you got to crush that. <coughs> um, I would have to agree with Samantha only on basketball this season. Uh, like in the past years, you know, we've had like drama or, you know, like people complaining of like not enough playing time or just different variety of things and being able to like step up and lead by example and say like, you know what guys, like let's push through this, let's do this, like we got this um, kind of attitude. Sure. Um, for me, 
I think it would. Wait, can you restate your question again? I, oh, think, well, I sure. think I know no, what you're asking. No about. worries. Sure. Uh, in the near future, what's something you're either excited about or oh, okay, fearful yeah. okay. of? Um, I'm excited. Okay, not really excited, but I'm excited for the ACT just to see how I do. I'm not like necessarily excited for it, but I've been pl- like studying a lot, I guess. And also, I want to take the ACT first to get my score back and then start doing college tours. I feel like I can't. I mean, I know I can do college tours without taking the ACT, but I'd like to have that um, information so I can do all that stuff. Because I'm just excited to see where like my next my next chapter is going to be. So that's I'm, awesome. I'm um, also excited about that too. I'm like beginning to visit colleges and like talk with like college mm-hmm. admissions and do like job shadows and all of that. That's exciting. <laughs> It's it's a that's a big game changer in your life and start thinking about things bigger and mm-hmm. then the drama and basketball or <laughs> softball it's like well it's it's your problem I'm yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> those are the questions I have today all right okay okay <clears throat> Dwight thank you so much for joining us here tonight we appreciate your insight thank you everybody thank you thanks. Kids in the tank, out. Is that is that like <laughs> out. tank out? Yeah, out. <laughs>